Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this section of tutorial, we'll be learning how we can rerun our failed test case using TestNG or retry our failed test case. Okay, there are two different approaches through which we can achieve the same. One approach is through rerunning the TestNG failed XML generated by TestNG once your test method gets failed. Okay, another approach is by implementing I retry analyzer an interface from TestNG which we can implement and automatically when a test gets failed it will be retrying immediately after that without any manual intervention okay let's quickly start and let's quickly see how we can achieve that so first of all let's create a project freshly test retry failed test okay so I have created a project let's quickly add the required jars for test ng okay what are those so test ng jar i'm adding up and along that another jar i'm adding up because i'm using latest version so that might give you a jni exception okay we have seen this seen this previously so i'm using j commander jar so i'm adding it up to the build path let's quickly create an package com dot fail dot demo okay we have created a package now we will be creating a class itself demo so i have named it as demo let's quickly write a test method here i want to fail it intentionally okay, so that i can show you the demo of redun so i'm just printing out some statement this is a test method okay there is a typo okay now i will use assertion so just for no i will be failing it intentionally okay i'm formatting my code done let's quickly cre create or generate test ng xml file through this one right so my xml file has been generated let's quickly run it okay just see here this got failed okay once it is failed immediately after that one test ng failed xml will be generated by the test ng itself so for that what to do just refresh your project okay now you see here is a folder or directory test output okay here you can if you can see here test ng failed xml got generated so it looks like this so if i open this it looks like this so it's mentioned the class name and the test method which got failed and you can utilize this to rerun it okay now let's quickly create a main uh, another class rerun failed okay where i'll be implementing the you no know, uh, code for rerunning a failed test case okay let's quickly public static void main so i'm using a main method here string args okay okay this formatting my code now here what we'll be using okay first let me tell you we'll be using a test ng class okay class will create an object after creating an object i'll create a list okay which will hold the test ng failed xml files path okay and that list i will be utilizing it for my rerun purpose let's quickly see test runner let's name this object as test runner okay let's quickly create a object for this so our object is created let's quickly you know create a list fill xml's data let's name it like this so new array list okay list of string right so let's fill xml data dot add okay here i'm adding the path okay i need to add the path of test ng failed xml which got generated by test ng let's go to quickly properties let's use the path 
once this is used let's use this okay let's format my code and after this is done so what we'll be doing we'll be consuming this list to run the file test case okay using the object what i created for test ng right so here the command i have to use test runner dot set suite set test suite something yeah set suites so here i'll pass the data of, of list now what i'll do i'll just use a method called run okay so you see here this method got failed okay now again i'll be i am trying to run it so let's quickly see how we can run that so this is the execution okay see here also it again got triggered and it will again fail obviously right because we haven't changed our code base we haven't changed our code base we are again failing it deliberately right so this again got failed so the thing is that so this the the thing is that we could achieve the rerun of failed test case through test ng failed xml okay but if you find any failures after running multiple times okay you should look at the code okay and fix it if the bug if any bugs are there or if it is a network issue you should fix it okay or any sporadic issue should be able to capture it okay the idea is to you know rerun your test code or test method to see if you have something wrong and you can fix it so that's the approach we can use for rerunning okay in the next video we'll see how we can rerun or how a test method will rerun multiple time okay without any manual intervention okay by using or implementing i return analyzer this time i had written this and i had after the execution i had to you know right click and run this but that approach will enable you okay in such a way so that your test will automatically get triggered once it gets failed okay so that's all for this section guys if you like my video uh, and please do share like and subscribe to my channel and if you do have any suggestions comments and questions please put them in the comment box i'll be happy to help thank you and have a nice day